El verbo to call significa llamar por teléfono, llamar a alguien para que venga, y dar nombre o apodo. I always call my friend after school. Call your brother to eat. My name is Anthony, but they call me Tony. No se dice call to alguien. Call David. En inglés, no se pone la preposición. Cuando le decimos a alguien que llame, usamos el imperativo, call. Call me. El sujeto en una frase imperativa es you, pero no se expresa. Se usan los pronombres de complemento después de call. Call me tonight. He is going to call you. I'm calling him right now. You can call her at work. Call us at home. You can call them later. La palabra call también es un sustantivo que significa llamada. There is a call for you. El vocabulario. Number. Later. For. But. After. Anytime. Right now. Telephone, comúnmente acortado a phone. Cell phone. Phone number. Las oraciones. She has to call her mother. You can call me anytime. I'm calling the police. I'm going to call the doctor. Call me later. Can you call me after work? He doesn't call his mother. What time are you going to call them? Call the children to dinner. Call them to eat. Her name is Angela, but we call her Angie. En este ejemplo, tenemos her como adjetivo posesivo. Her name. Y después, como pronombre de complemento, call her. My name is Robert, but you can call me Bob. You have a call from New York. I can't get calls at work.
I don't have their phone number. Do you have a cell phone? Ejercicios de comprensión. There's a call for you. There's a call for you. There's a call for you. Call me anytime. Call me anytime. Call me anytime. Do you know his phone number? Do you know his phone number? Do you know his phone number? I'm going to call her later. I'm going to call her later. I'm going to call her later. Where can I buy a cell phone? Where can I buy a cell phone? Where can I buy a cell phone? My name is James, but you can call me Jim. My name is James, but you can call me Jim. My name is James, but you can call me Jim. Next, Lesson 37. 